Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, we're in Colossians chapter 3, looking at verses 12 and 13. But before we look at this text, uh, let me ask you a question. You get up in the morning, do you put on clean clothes or do you put on dirty clothes? I mean, I'm not talking about like your normal around the house, what I call white trash clothes. Uh, I'm talking about like the filthy ones that you're doing yard work on yesterday or you're working on the car and they're all greasy and grimy or, or you went out and for me it's playing golf and then they just reek. They just smell, you know, especially when it's hot. Do you put those kind of clothes back on and then go about your day and go to work and, and, and do your things? No, you put on clean clothes. And, and today's passage, the Apostle Paul is talking about what we as followers of Jesus put on our lives. Listen to what he says. Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And, and Paul is just simply saying, hey, you're, you're starting your day out. You're going to live for Jesus. You're holy and beloved by him. He's changed your life. And so he wants you to put on the clothes of Christ. He wants you to put on the character of Jesus, your Savior. Uh, and, and, you know, it's summarized in the fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5. It's talked about and, and demonstrated by the life of Jesus in the Gospels. But here he, he just mentions some, some things. He says, hey, have compassionate hearts. Be kind, have humility, have meekness, which is gentleness uh, and patience. Sounds like the fruit of the Spirit, doesn't it? And, and forgive one another. And, and, and so that's what he wants you to clothe your life with. Now, here's the flip side of that. If you're angry, bitter, rude, and unforgiving, you're living in filthy spiritual clothes. And you wouldn't walk out of your house that way to go to dinner with somebody wearing filthy, stained, nasty, stinky clothes. So why would you let your soul be like that as a follower of Jesus? So let's follow our Lord and Savior and let's clothe ourselves with the character of Jesus. I hope that helps you have a clean and pure day. God bless.